All right, so if you head out to the 11D documentation right now, we have this feature on our homepage that we're, we call Build with 11D, and it's just a showcase of all the different sites that have been built with 11D, appropriately named. Um, and yeah, it has screenshots for in every individual site. Uh, if you click through to our 11D authors page, each author also has a screenshot rendered of their site uh, viewable on their author page. So how do we generate those images? Right now, it's uh, part of our manual build. We have an NPM script that we run that for each of the 511 sites in our showcase, uh, it goes out, uses Puppeteer to make a request to the site, render the site, and generates images from that, uh, from that code. It's very manual, it's very slow, it's not great. Uh, because it's very manual and very slow, I don't update it very often. Uh, we run it uh, probably at, at most once a month. Um, yeah, and I hate it, and it's terrible. <laughs> um, so one of the easiest things I could do to replace this is to move it uh, and to be moving this code into a Netlify function. So there is an example on the netlify.com site where you can return dynamic images, and functionally, uh, it would be very easy to migrate that over. Um, now, the the bad part about putting image generation into a Netlify function is that for every single visitor that visits the site, it generates a unique screenshot for each user. So if you have a lot of visitors coming to your website, that would be a lot of screenshots generated, a lot of wasted resources. And I wanted a more shared model. Um, so right now I'd kind of, you, I'm on the spectrum for this particular feature where I have a very resource intensive build step. It takes a lot of time to generate 511 images, uh, especially since it's running serially. <laughs> uh, and the other end of the spectrum is um, a more on request model that sort of moves the pain into the end user's realm, which I'm trying to avoid. Um, now, Netlify has been talking about this, a new feature they're calling distributed persistent rendering. And with that comes something called on-demand builders. And this sort of modifies the construct of a Netlify function so that it only generates um, one asset for all your users. So as part of that, uh, I've been playing around with it a little bit before the launch. I moved the screenshot code into a Netlify on demand builder uh, and removed all of the screenshot images from my repository, which greatly increased my uh, build time speed. Uh, builds go up much quicker now that I don't have uh, a ton of images in the repository for all of these screenshots. And the great thing is, when the end user visits the site, here's an example of it running, when they scroll down, these images are generated once per build. Um, so it really only makes one screenshot request um, for each site, and also doesn't require any manual intervention on my part, um, because these are all via on-demand builders. So it's really... Uh, pretty exciting that it has not only sped up my local development time, a local development build time because I'm moving things out of the build to be uh, on-demand requests, but it's also not creating a ton of uh, performance hit for the end user because w once the images are generated for one user, they're available for everyone um, until I do a new build and, it, and, and my uh, or change my screenshot uh, builder function code.